Tell me, you know, how did you come out finding out about the accident? Well, I was at home in Virginia Beach. Um, got that phone call that all parents dread. And I had gone to the movies and my younger daughters were at home with their friends. And when I came home, they informed me that I had gotten this phone call that I had to return. And sure enough, I called and it was the doctor uh, informing me that Meredith had been in a wreck, that she was all right. You know, they sort of comfort you first, but she needed to go in and do exploratory surgery because they didn't know exactly what was going on. So, of course, I made her, had to find my husband who was on a golf course mm -hmm. um, or at dinner. That was not easy. <laughs> So to all, all parents, make sure you know where your spouse is and how to get in touch with them. This was before cell phones. So. Oh, absolutely, before yeah. cell phones. And yeah. So I had to track him down. Yeah. So anyway, um, made arrangements for the two young girls and got in the car. Not that night, you know, they said, wait and come, you know. So got in the car and drove to Roanoke. Didn't know where I was going or anything else. Mm -hmm got here and went straight to the hospital. Meredith had been out of surgery and she was doing fine. Walked in and I see this beautiful young woman, my daughter, hooked up to contraptions that, you know, got her legs up or knees and everything for the pelvis to get the weight off of them. Up off her hips. So I did call, call like Meredith said, told Benny, well, nothing you can do. I mean, she's in bed, mm -hmm. not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Finish your golf trip. Of course, he didn't. He came. Yeah. Um, little did I know that the, my younger daughters were being very much being teenagers at home but yeah um i just sat there but as when gay came and um ron the the driver came it was like oh my gosh and then the helicopter pilot came and he was quite cute <laughs> <laughs> i remember that um and it was through the hospital that I heard about Ron McDonald House because I didn't know where I was going to stay. And Meredith did say, that I do not by myself well at all. You know, I just, something I haven't been able to do, ever do. So came here and it was like coming home. It really was like coming home. It's like I had never left home. And everybody here was so warm and welcoming. As it turns out, I was of the list of priority, you know, one through 10, I don't know what it was, you know, who stays here, and I was the bottom, <laughs> but it was fine. I mean, it was, got a room, so comfortable, and there were meals served, and just anything you needed and wanted, they, um, I believe the director's name at the time was Ann. Um, just was all, you know, I went to the hospital, sat with Meredith, and came, came home. And it was wonderful. So did um, it, was it, a, um, I guess that kind of helped your family as a whole, knowing that you had a place, that they oh, absolutely, could take care absolutely. of things. Absolutely, absolutely. My husband didn't have to worry about me. He knew I was settled and I was okay, and he could take care of what he needed to take care at home, and mm -hmm. then he came in on the weekends. And um, it was just, it was a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was so upset about Meredith and what she was going through. I mean, she was in pain. I know every time they shifted the weights and everything. Mm -hmm. um, plug for the hospital, it was wonderful. Okay. So how long did you stay here? 
um, about two weeks. Okay. Yeah. About two weeks, and then mm -hmm. um, Meredith was picked Meredith up, and then we went to Radford because mm -hmm. she needed to finish her final exams, which she could take. Right. So, yeah. but she was in a wheelchair and this contraption out of her, and I did. I had to go find clothes for, her. so you know, big shifts and everything that would come over, um, the um contraption mm -hmm. the brace yeah so. yeah so um you know did you do you remember being here with other families going through sort um, of things or there you just there were a few yes mm -hmm. yes because i remember having dinner and we would all be in the, the dining room mm -hmm. having dinner and it was a really nice support and hearing their stories and mm -hmm. it's sort of sometimes you know some worse than others and mm -hmm. You think, oh, I am so lucky. I am so blessed. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what I'm going through, but oh my gosh, look what. And I hope that I was support for them that right. it's going to work out and it'll be fine. And learning about, you know, the people, all the, the mothers and fathers that stay here and the service that's done for them and. You know, because some of them would stay here, they would leave, but whatever their situation was, they would be coming back for further treatments or whatever, and they had a place to come home to. What would you, you know, tell a family? Because we, we have several families that stay here that have gone through similar experiences just like yours. Um, what would you offer them or tell them in your 23 year later mind that, that looking back on it now, is there any, anything you can give them or say to them that you feel like might help them through an experience that you went through? Is while I was here, I, I got involved. One time I went in the kitchen, went to the store and bought you know, like brownie mix and stuff like that and went in the kitchen and another mother came in there and we cooked together. And it sort of got your mind off of what you were going through. It gave you the camaraderie, you know, of being with somebody else that was in your, you know, sort of in your shoes. Um, getting involved like that, helping out in different, little different ways while you were there. Something I didn't do after the fact when I got home, I didn't volunteer at the Ronald McDonald in Willow. It was in Norfolk at mm -hmm. the time. Well, yeah, it's in Norfolk. Um, sort of, I really regret that, but having younger t teenagers and the volunteer work I was doing through the church and everything, I just didn't do it. I do regret that. Um, is I would say to other mothers and fathers is with the experience you've had here, go home and keep it alive, keep it going. Mm -hmm. That is such an incredible, incredible, you know, I never even heard of Ronald, really her. I mean, I guess I saw ads on TV about Ronald McDonald, but I didn't even really think about it because you, you never right. think it's going to happen to you until it does and then it's like it is such a necessary gift and I say necessary because it is for the families that are suffering and are going through this and have or especially far away from home or that they've got a place to stay well, thank and you. a home to stay in Thank you for sharing your story. It means a great deal to us that you thought of us this many years and that you came back to share your story with us. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>